Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make these beautiful bugles and crystal earrings. They're easy to make and I'll show you step by step so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're gonna be able to make them by yourself. So if you want to support me and see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and in this way you will know when I make matching jewelry to the ones that I have already done, like I did this bracelet and I'll link it here at the eye icon. So when you hit the bell you will know for the matching jewelry and you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself. And down there in description I have a full list of materials, links where you could buy supplies from, link to my store and link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. And uh, if you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using for this video are two colors of 11 o seed beads and here I use these beautiful bugle beads that are like little tubes, little cylinders and I use uh, in 2 millimeter size and 7 millimeter size and you could find them in any beading store, check descriptions uh, to see where you could buy them from and these are ear wires here, these are teardrop crystals this is monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches or 0 0.15 millimeters. You could use other beading thread of your choice. It's a good idea to use also fire line because uh, the edges of the bugle beads sometimes cut the usual threads. So the fire line is really strong. And this is size 10 beading needle scissors. And these are pliers that are not obligatory, but I use them only to go through the difficult beads if I need to. Okay, and now I'm going to take about half an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm back and in my first step I'm going to take 2 millimeter bugle bead, one dark seed bead, bugle, seed bead, bugle, seed bead, bugle and a seed bead. Okay, and now I have four bugles and four seed beads in total. And I'm going to slide those down almost until the end of this thread. I will stick my needle here in my mat and I'm going to make a knot and I'm making it by taking the end of my thread and going twice through this loop I've made. Okay, and I make one more knot with the tail thread like this. And now guys, what I want to do is an additional step. I want to go here through this bugle bead, then skip the seed bead at the angle and go again through the bugle, okay, and pull, pull tight, skip the angle bead, go through the next bugle. And in this way I make my shape stay really nice and tight without moving around. I'm just skipping the angle beads and make them pop up. And I pull to be sure that everything is nice and tight. And now guys I have this. Now I'm going here through this seed beads at the edge and I'm going to take three silver 11 on seed beads and I'm going back through this angle bead making here a loop of beads then I go through the bugle and through the following seed bead and I take three silvers and go back okay then through the bugle and through the seed bead three again go back then again here like this 
and I want to take three more seed beads and finish this row. Okay, and in my next step, I'm going through these two beads, and my goal is to exit out of this angle bead here. Okay, this bead that's sticking out the most, and I'm going to flip my work like this. Okay. And now I'm turned in this direction because it's easier for me to work counterclockwise. Okay, I'm taking one bugle bead, going here through the angle, pulling, and I'm going to repeat this three more times. Okay, and if you like how it works up to here, please hit the like button. Okay, now I'm taking three beads and I'm going back through the silver here, back in circle. Now I have this, right angle weave again and I'm going through the bugle and I'm taking one more bugle bead. And I'm going back here like this, then through the next silver, take three dark beads, go back, and I'm going to continue this until the end of this row. Okay guys, now I finished this row and I'm going to do an additional step to make my work stay in a better shape and not move around. Okay, I'm exiting out of this bugle, then I will go back through the neighbor bugle and I will go here through these three seed beads here. Okay, through all the three of them and then through the following bugle. And in this way I'm connecting the three beads that I added at the edge with the outside bugle and it makes a better shape of my work. Okay, and when I pull here, I will have a slight bend to my work, and I think it's cool, guys. I like it, okay? And here, at the edge, I want to exit through this central dark bead, and here I'm going to attach my teardrop crystal. There are two types of teardrop crystals. In this one uh, the hole is through the whole bead and there is another one that the hole is only here at the edge. Okay, now I'm using this type of bead. Okay, and what I need to take is take three seed beads and I want to go here through the whole length of my crystal like this. Now this is what I have. I need three more seed beads, slide those down, I will skip them, I'm not going through them, I'm skipping them 
and I'm going here through the crystal and through the following two seed beads, okay? Pay attention, through the following two. And I pull, okay? And when I pull, I have this. I'm not going through this one here, only through the first two. And then I take one more seed bead and I go back here again through this edge bead that I started adding my crystal from and I will do an additional step I will go one more time back through this crystal if your thread is thicker I don't recommend to go one more time through all of those beads because this crystal won't dangle but now my thread is not thick so I could do this go one more time here and again here through this seed bead and one more time through this central bead okay now there is a perfect symmetry here and I want to go at the other side of my work guys where I want to attach my ear wire okay I'm going through all of those beads in this direction just like this exiting here okay and I want to attach my ear wire by uh, picking up one seed bead then my ear wire then one more seed bead okay this is what I have on my needle and as I'm exiting out of here I'm going back through this angle bead and pull just like this and now I'm going to reinforce this okay and reinforce this two or three times and when you're ready go through the following seed bead and through the bugle let's say here and you need to make a knot okay and I'm making here a loop and I'm going once and I'm going second time through this loop I've made and then I pull and then you could repeat this step of making knots uh, several more times and when you're ready go through the following seed bead and cut your thread and your work will be ready okay guys and now my crystals and bugles beaded earrings are ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button and in this way you will be notified when i make matching jewelry to the ones that i have already done like i have a bracelet matching these earrings and i'm linking it here at the eye icon and down there in description you will find a full list of materials links where you could buy supplies from link to my store and link for paypal donations to develop this channel thank you so much for watching bye bye from me